before I get echoed. All right, what's going on, YouTube? Uh, Chris Royce here from Liquidation OH. Uh, if you haven't seen the channel before, I go through a lot of my liquidated items, show you how I buy them, show you how I sell them. Uh, I've, Dan's been gracious enough to come on with me tonight from Source Fanatics. And yeah. it was all about his group, so let's hear from Dan. Yeah, hi guys. Uh, first time YouTube, so this is pretty exciting for us. Thanks for having us on, Chris. Glad really to have you. Uh, so um, what I can tell you about Source Fanatics is uh, we are a community of people uh, across Canada uh, that will uh, go into uh, retail stores or shop online on sale uh, for your business and acquire inventory. Uh, we'll take that inventory. Uh, we'll aggregate it at our warehouses. I'm at one of our warehouses here in Vancouver. We also have another warehouse in Calgary in Canada. Uh, and we will aggregate that and then ship it to either a prep center for you or directly to essentially wherever you want the inventory to, to go. So that's, that's one aspect of our business. Uh, and I can tell you a little bit how we got into that in a second. Uh, the other aspect is uh, we also have a number of connections with with wholesalers themselves. You know, wholesale is this riddle that everyone's trying to figure out. Uh, you know, how do I get in contact with wholesalers? Who do I? Where can I source inventory from uh, reputable wholesalers? Uh, so part of what we are doing is not just online arbitrage and retail arbitrage, but also I guess you would say wholesale arbitrage as well. We're bringing wholesalers uh, to to you. Uh, really, the end goal of our of our company is uh, to help you guys. Uh, eliminate any of the time constraints that you have around sourcing inventory, the, the ge uh, geographic constraints that you have, uh, scaling. Uh, that's always a big one, obviously. How do you scale your business, right, when it comes to sourcing? Uh, solve that kind of wholesale uh, mystery. And then uh, re remove any barriers, really. I mean, whether they're store barriers, uh, store limit barriers, uh, wholesale purchasing barriers, whatever they, they, they could be, that's, that's, that's our goal. So. Our big, hairy, uh, audacious goal as a business eventually is going to be to uh, completely reinvent uh, distribution or something similar to like. That's, you know, they call it a big, hairy, audacious goal for a reason, right? That is a pretty, pretty uh, lofty goal, but uh, that's uh, what we're, we're aiming to do as an organization. So you so, aggregate it all and we'll come to you and we say, say, hey, uh, are you my, uh, are you my, my Say that one more time, Chris. Muted on the window on your phone. Getting a Say little it one more time. You're, uh, are you muted on the if you have the window open? I I don't think I'm muted. Oh, okay. Can people not hear me. Yeah. So uh, so you're basically we come to you. We can come to you and say, hey, we're looking for this certain product, and you would go through your channels and try to find them. Yeah. So we can well we can we can go through and try to find it if you'd like. Uh, if you know of a specific product that you'd like to source at a retail store or at an online. That's on sale. I mean, uh, we all know sitting here uh, that often you're going to find inventory uh, at a retail store that's less than distribution, right? Uh, or less than wholesale. Um, so if you find a product uh, and want us to go and source it for you, we can do that for you. Currently, we operate uh, in Canada, uh, but we are going to be expanding uh, slowly uh, and you know, baby steps uh, into uh, the US. We're going to start off with a small pilot program. Uh, in November, uh, to take advantage of obviously some of the sales that are going to be going on uh, come Christmas time, uh, and then we're going to be expanding wider uh, in in January. Okay, so how'd you get started? Yeah, so great question. Uh, so uh, I was thinking about it as I as I drove here today uh, to the office, and um, it was about just wow. Over four years ago, I was uh, sitting in one of my best friend's cars, uh, and his cousin Mikey called him. Uh, came on to speakerphone, and uh, cousin Mikey was at a Walmart, uh, and uh, which and what said to my friend said, "Hey, Pano, I'm uh, uh, you know, I, I'm looking to buy some. I'm, I'm buying these video games. Are these the ones you want?" Uh, and uh, my friend said, "Yep, uh, you know, go buy those." Uh, and he said, "Well, how many do you want?" And uh, he said, "I want all of them." And so cousin Mikey hung up. I just turned to my best friend and said, "You know, what's what's that all about?" And he said, "Well, I'm just getting. You know, uh, he he was my friend's uh, was and still is in the video game distribution business, and he was having people, uh, more specifically his brother and his cousin, you know, a couple of people uh, in his family go out and buy video games for him 
at retail, uh, which you could buy for less than distribution, in some cases when they were on sale or being cleared out. And uh, and then his company was then shipping those down to Amazon. And I looked at him, I said, all right, uh, I'm in. I'd love to do that, that sounds exciting. Who doesn't like to shop, right? Who doesn't like to go and spend some money, get some points, you know, uh, that kind of thing. So. Um, being who I am, I kind of, I took the bull and, and ran with it. Uh, he said yes. Uh, and then, uh, I essentially became one of their largest suppliers. <laughs> uh, I went, I went out and found out, um, uh, different systems to earn more money by, for sourcing, uh, inventory for, uh, this organization. They were gracious enough, uh, you know, to, 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 um, um, uh, to incentivize me and to, you know, to motivate me, uh, to, to, to do it. And I just found out, you know, various different ways to to to, to, to source video games. That's where I started. Uh, and so, fast forward about six months into doing this, I turned to my best friend and I go, "So, have we thought about doing different products? Have you guys ever thought about doing different products? What about like this is me, cousin Mikey, and your brother doing this? What if we expanded this across the country? Let alone, what if we just added a few more friends in? I wasn't as I wasn't as audacious to say across the country." What if we added a few more friends in and then eventually we go to across the country and um you know he uh he was on board uh and we were we were going to do it together uh he decided that um uh you know it's uh he'd, he'd rather stay with his business which is credit to him you know he's um he's very well entrenched there and uh you know i decided to go it alone and so i started to build out this dream of people across the country, uh, sourcing product. Uh, and then uh, I started selling on Amazon, of course, myself. Uh, I brought in a couple of business partners. And uh, in two years, we scaled from doing next, well, doing zero on Amazon. I'd say yeah, two, two and a half years, we scaled from doing nothing on Amazon. I just ran the numbers uh, earlier than the summer. We did over $2.4 million on Amazon in, in um, in two years and so that just shows you the scale like the scalability of this model right is um if it had just been me going to try to source this product uh you know i, I probably wouldn't be married uh i wouldn't uh you know i would have i would have never been able to uh, uh to, to, to scale it to, to 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 where i got it to but because i had all these people sourcing for me um, you know, and had all the systems eventually come into place uh you know we were able to scale it to that size um, so that was how we got started. Uh, eventually we came to the realization, me and my, my, my two business partners, one of them I think is watching right now. Um, uh, there's three of us. Uh, we came to the realization of, okay, what's the value of our business? What, what makes us different? What makes us unique? Are we going to be, uh, an Amazon seller for the rest of our life? We love it, but is this, you know, our, what's the next level of our, of, of us scaling and um you know we have kind of a, a, a an analogy we look at the gold rush uh and uh you know we thought okay well amazon's a gold rush it certainly seems to be i just saw they're at i just saw read an article today they're adding a thousand new users uh new sellers a day i think i don't know that might be a little bit you know uh, a little bit aggressive but in, in a thousand new users another thousand new sellers a week right it's a gold rush people are realizing there's money to be had and there is money to be made uh, but we we looked at it as a business and we said the value of our business is this community and who made money in the gold rush Certainly there were people who made money Getting the gold right obviously it was a gold rush for a reason uh, But the people that also made a ton of money uh, And did very well and you know had a lot of fun I guess doing it were the people that supplied the shovels the the um, you know the the, the railroads the uh, the Saloons, people that were yeah that were supplying all. So we decided to let's, let's go business to business. Let's I mean what we have is a value. We have a community here. Uh, we've been able to scale up to this mm -hmm. size. Imagine if we took that community and turned it outward. So we stopped uh, this summer. That's why I, I kind of did the um, the two year overview of the business and we, we stopped uh, sourcing for ourselves and we started sourcing for. Uh, for others, it's been a bit of a, an adjustment, of course, because as you know, we've, we've essentially pivoted the business here. Uh, but uh, we've now got uh, uh, you know, a, a good stable of clients uh, that are you know pretty happy with the service across Canada, 
Uh, we're adding more as 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 it goes along, and uh, you know we're we're well on our way now, and so we're we're pretty we're well, we're not pretty we're super excited uh, that uh, we're starting to see this dream of helping other resellers grow their business become a reality. So where do you, are you more uh, focused now and towards uh, business? So other stores or more individuals? Source, sourcing for them? Yeah. We're, we're more focused on anyone who needs inventory, frankly. I, yeah. I, we don't source for ourselves anymore. Um, you know, we do have a, a, another revenue stream uh, to the business where we work directly with, with marketplaces like eBay and Walmart where we um, uh, and collaborate with with large distri distributors, uh, which is a way that we get contacts and connections for our source fanatic customers, uh, you know, connecting large distributors and, and marketplaces. But we do not source uh, inventory for ourselves to sell by ourselves on Amazon. Got it. So you're, yeah. you're more passing it through. So, so let's talk about the process. How does it work if I'm I know nothing about liquidation. I, I come to you. How does it work? Yep. Yeah. So it, uh, we're a little unique here in that um, we're not solely liquidation. A lot of the a lot of the inventory that we're going to source for for your listeners and for uh, for bit people that are listening is brand new. Perfect. Is new. Okay. Yep. Um, so the way the process works is. Um, you're outsourcing in that store, you're outsourcing um, online, you're uh, looking for a particular product that you know sells well locally, maybe in your Facebook marketplace group or whatever. Um, you can come to us and request that we look for something for you, if you'd like, to see if we can find a good deal for you. Uh, where we found the most success though is uh, when we've had people that are out in the stores or out in the, and they, they find a deal, essentially. Um, maybe at a Walmart or they find a deal at a, um, uh, a clearance deal at uh, a Target or they find a clear, you know, a store like that. Just as an example, there's lots of just different stores that we can source from. They'll come to us and say, I want, uh, and we have a full process in place, though I want this product, this UPC, uh, this uh, we're willing to pay this price. Here's where you can source it from. Go to town. And that's what we go and do for you. Yeah. So. Awesome. I can go into Target, say this printer inks on clearance. I could say I want this, all that, and you can try and find it. Yep. That's what we do. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the big hairy up. You know, uh, well not the big. That's what we're doing already, uh, and that's what we're going to expand into the U.S. doing as well. So let's say you do find something, and you say, okay, Chris, I found you know I found your item, I found your quantities yep. that you wanted. How does that work next? Do I need a, a certificate first? Or can I just purchase? Yeah. So the way it works is that that's a great question. I'm not the, the actual physical process is this. Uh, you'll connect with us on um, Facebook Messenger, um, and then eventually, when you become a customer, we have uh, our own instant message. We Slack. Uh, it's a great instant message tool. Uh, yep. We put you on our Slack Messenger, uh, and you'll either uh, message us on Messenger uh, or on Slack, and uh, or email as well, right? Or you could call me. I mean, it's, there's a whole bunch of different ways to get a hold of us, but you'll you'll get you're a hold like of us. Personal sales uh, rep, so to say, right? Sorry, you're like my my sales guy. I call you directly. Exactly. You call us up. You tell okay. us exactly what you're looking for, uh, down to where we can source it from, what price you, what strike price. I guess you want to say you'll pay, uh, what UPC, uh, what your quantity limits are, right? Because you don't want to. You know, we've had instances where. I think for our new customers in Canada, especially, they don't understand the power of this, right? For example, we just had a customer uh, wanted to source some uh, kids' uh, electronics um, uh, from Amazon. Uh, we uh, he was thinking he wanted a quantity of a hundred. Uh, it looks like we're going to be able to get him one hundred twenty-five to one hundred fifty, right? Um, so I have to check with him to say that okay, hey, can we go over? Um, at the beginning, he's starting to get used to it now. But at the beginning, it was you know it was a little bit like a whoa. It's, it's, it's pretty surprising and how, how quickly we can get the inventory and how much of the inventory we can get. So you'll come to us with, with whatever it is you want to source. We then ask that, um, you know, if it's a hundred or something that you want to source from us, we ask that you'll pay, that you pay upfront into via PayPal for that quantity. So if you want a uh, hundred products that are $35 each, uh, you would, you would deposit, $3,500 into our PayPal account, 
okay? We would go out and source up to the 100. Anything that we can't source for you, we immediately refund you, okay? okay? In terms of um, in terms of the product, and then we aggregate all the product. Once we get all, once all of our uh, our shoppers have, have gone out and got it, we send it to you. Once you receive it and are happy with it, you know uh, you you look at the boxes, you make sure everything's in order, uh, you make sure the counts are right, everything is good. Then we have um, a, a fee that we charge on top of the actual cost of the product, uh, and that's what we call our product purchase fee. And that's a negotiable fee. We used to have a flat rate, and I think uh, I need to update Rob's um, PDF. I meant to do that today with him, but we used to have a, a flat rate of, of, a, of a percentage. But we're, we're but what we what we've realized now, and we've, what we've had feedback uh, from our customers around is that sourcing a five hundred dollar video game is very different than sourcing a thousand packs of gum, right? Like there's just there's different there's different costs to different products, uh, and we didn't want uh, to limit um, uh, the products that our customers could source with one flat rate. So when you're happy with the product, when you receive the product, uh, you'll we will have already negotiated this up front. By the way, um, uh, whatever the purchase uh, pr uh, product purchase fee is, you'll pay that plus shipping, whatever it is, the shipping to your prep center, or the shipping to you, or the shipping to right. Uh, so in that in that example, you did with the thirty five hundred. So the thirty five hundred. Is that inclusive of the shipping and the fee? Is the example That's no, that is that is just what you are paying up front is okay. just the cost of the product. We don't okay. want you know we want we want the customer to have some skin in the game. Obviously, we're we're not a bank. We can't. I mean, as much as we'd love to have people pay us, you know, thirty days after receiving the right thirty days after receiving the product. Uh, maybe when we become you know this uh, you know this uh, amazingly large company, uh, we'll be able to float um, you know. Uh, resellers uh, and sellers a, a little longer, but yeah, as it stands right now, right? Yeah, yep. yeah, we need to have. So that's all it is. Is just what you would pay for the product, like so. It, it. Product cost. And, and exactly the cost of the product. That's it. Okay. And then uh, all the internal shipping is on us. So what I mean by internal shipping is all the aggregation. So we aggregate the product at um, our warehouses or at a prep center. Um, that's the way it's going to okay. work in the U.S. We're going to have a prep center do it for us. McKenzie Services, they're excellent. My little plug for them. Um, uh, uh, that all that internal shipping is on us. Okay. The only shipping that the customer, you, the customer is going to pay for is once we've aggregated it somewhere. It's going to ship somewhere, right? Chances right. are, I mean, in the U.S., when it goes to the to the prep center, chances are you're going to want it shipped into Amazon. But I don't want only Amazon sellers. Uh, you know, there's other people that need to source inventory. Shopify stores, people that sell on Facebook Marketplace, yep. uh, which is booming, starting to grow big now. eBay sellers, Poshmark sellers. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to list off all the marketplaces, but right, right, or the, or anyone who sells, has a retail store, why not? I mean, whoever whoever wants to source inventory. So will we? So do you have some sort of sh shipping program that you currently use? Can we pick up, or can we do our own shipping from your facility to our location? It would be um, your own. You could do your own shipping if you'd like. Okay. Uh, but we can also ship for you. Got it. There's both. And right. yep. And that purchase. So that purchase fee. That's per per group of things I want. Yeah. What we're trying to do. Uh, we tried to be generic to start off and keep it as simple as possible and have one flat percentage rate. And it, it just it, it it was sandwiching too many of our customers into a certain price point. I guess if you want to say so. Answering your question, that product purchase fee is uh, a negotiated percentage up front. Got it. Eventually, what we what we might get to is you know for a, a certain a certain product of this value, it's this percentage. A certain product of this value, it's this percentage. A certain product of this value, it's this percentage. We're not there yet, so I just you know I want to um, yeah. So keep it negotiable to start off with. Okay, that's good to good to know up front. So trying to understand all the fees, understand all that. Um, yeah, very now, simple. You pay us up front for the product. Yep. We talk when you when you're telling us what the product is. We agree upon a a, a, a fee, a product percentage. It's a purchase percentage fee. Sorry, it's a, a percentage fee of the product that you are going to purchase. That's yep. it. So the percentage of the product. That's okay. it. The product cost and uh, the eventual shipping. 
where we needed to, where we needed to go. That's it. There's there's wow. there's three costs: cost of the product, our fees, shipping. Simple. What about uh, minimum order quantity? So if I said I like these headphones and I want five of them, yes, we do have a minimum order quantity for sure. Okay. Right now, uh, as much as we'd love to help everyone, it's just <laughs> not possible. Yeah. Right? We're, you know, um, maybe eventually, right? But uh, the minimum order quantity um, that we have in place is a uh, thousand dollars, I believe. Now, okay. yeah, good to know, because you know you're going to get obviously, those. We, obviously, we're willing to. Sorry, go ahead. No, I say you know you're going to get those people that say, "Hey, I only want you know fifty or yeah, 10. Exactly, exactly. And we have, I mean. One other fee, actually, I should say that we do have in place uh, is, um, and and it's a, it's a fee that we're that we're working working on right now in terms of how we're going to do it. It uh, we have a hundred dollar a month fee for access, and I apologize, I, I missed this one. A hundred dollar a month access for um, for access to the shoppers. This is only the shoppers. Access to our wholesale, which is on our our Facebook page, our Facebook group. Uh, okay. We have wholesale lots. Um, and that's perf that's free. Anyone can go in. Anyone can purchase that. Um, there's there's no there's no problems about that. But for access to the shoppers, we have to your point, we have a hundred dollar a month uh, access fee, and that's meant that's there. Um, the amount that it's going to pay us is obviously minimal, but it's there as a way to um, have people maybe think twice about you know, whether they're going to invest in product. Um, you know, maybe some of the people that are fresh and new to the to the to the online selling game. Uh, unfortunately, yeah. we're not, we're we're going to be unable to service them to start out with. Down the road, we really are going to aim to help those people, though, for sure. So you broke up there. So just to reiterate, it sounds like you, if you're on the Facebook group, you can purchase anything on the Facebook group, right? Yes. And then at no, at no cost. At no cost. Got it. And then no. if you want to join that the the shopper network, like you said, that's a hundred dollars a month. Yes. Is there a contract for that, or is it you can do monthly, or you have to do a year? How's that work? No contract at all. No. Yeah, you just it's uh, I, we the business partners we abhor abhor contracts. We do not want you guys locked in at all. It's okay. just meant as a service fee to kind of think about. Okay, is this is this source fanatics worthy? I guess is you know kind of what we want to um, have so people can think about. Try it for a month for a hundred bucks, and then stop at the end of the month. Yes. Okay. Now, do you, it sounds like you said you're going to pilot in November in the U.S., but from between now and then, can you any U.S. buyers contact you to start? Of course. Uh, okay. One of the things I really wanted to get across on this, uh, um, you know, on this YouTube was uh, video was that uh, you know, listen, we created a, a multi-million-dollar business selling on Amazon.com from Canada. So, if your listeners were were smart. And they are. I know they are because I see. Uh, I see the intelligence of the people on PS One Hundred One all the time, right? Yep. Um, maybe you want to start looking in Canada for some product right now. And we yeah. obviously get stuff across the uh, across the border. We're happy to source for Americans in the Canada and and send it down to you wherever you want it in 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 uh, in the U.S. Would uh, how would the import fees? Would we have to the import fees work in the shipping, the duties, and all that? Yeah, we can work on that with you. We know we we have pretty extensive knowledge around that, obviously, given our okay. history. So we can work with you on that. Uh, we have uh, a fantastic um, network of brokers or bro um, uh, of uh, of import brokers. Uh, we also have uh, terrific um, price point on shipping down to the U.S. as well. So we can work with you on that. And you said I had a question: Where in Canada, Vancouver? You said, and where else? Yeah, so we have people from um, uh, in uh, in across the across the country. We have uh, the buying power now that I think we have is over a million dollars um, in terms of uh, purchasing product. Um, that's you know uh, what our what the access uh, to uh, funds that our shoppers have. So it's pretty significant. So okay. if you're uh, if you're sitting out there in YouTube land and you're thinking, hmm, where can I source product? Maybe you want to start looking a little bit at Canada. Our dollars, you know, get twenty percent savings there all right away. That's a great point, right there. I never even thought of the the exchange yeah. rate. Yeah, yeah, and uh, who knows with you know with NAFTA and all that kind of good stuff going on, whether or not that's going to go even you know that might even go down, right? Or, or uh, in terms of uh, 
you know, we've, we've sourced at a 70 cent dollar. So it's a 30% savings for, for Americans. Mm -hmm. uh, we sort, you know, even I think at a 35% savings for Americans, we've sourced in Canada. Nice. And there, there are amazing programs out there now, guys, like tactical arbitrage and other things um, that allow you to look at different stores, uh, both in the U.S. and in Canada, uh, and and look for deals, right? So, Brick, Brickseek, I think, is one of them too. Brickseek is a, is a complementary to that. Brickseek will, will tell you what kind of stock is yep. in that store. Yeah, there's a there's a whole raft of tools that. Uh, you know, if you'd ever like us to come on and maybe do a, a thing around, you know, retail arbitrage and online arbitrage. That'd be great. We'd, we'd love to, you know, show you some of the tools and talk about that. What about, um, I got, a, I had a received a question, first time buyer discounts. Is there any? Yeah, you know what? Um, uh, I, again, um, uh, Rob and Ray have been amazing people to us. Uh, we are so thankful. Um, to them letting us join the community and we, and we think it's one of the best communities on on, on the web um, I'm sure you you, you agree Chris um, yeah. yeah they're terrific so uh, we you know because of because of them you know we'd love to uh, certainly offer uh, certainly for the pilot what we're going to look at is, is there's, there'll be no monthly fee for anyone who wants to be a part of the pilot now the pilot's going to be very limited um, yep. it might take on four or five sellers maybe six at the most, just to kind of get the processes down, right? We don't want to disappoint anyone, um, uh, but we wouldn't have any fees. And you know what? Uh, we also uh, are happy to extend your first uh, Canadian purchase. If you're an American seller and you want to purchase something in Canada through us, we're happy to do that at no purchase process, uh, purchase fee for you guys. So oh. that's a PS101 discount right there. So your first yeah, purchase. I, didn't, I don't think I mentioned it in the beginning, but I wanted to, Thank PS101 group for allowing us to interview. If you're not joining the group, go join the group because yeah, you know you guys uh, join the group. Tons of knowledge. There's tons. Of, I mean, we joined your group from there, and yeah, that collaboration relationship's great. Yeah, and 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 uh, I, I I published on PS101 um, when I first joined the group. There's a um, I'm a bit of a Facebook group junkie. And mm -hmm. you know, it's an amazing business tool, Facebook. You can learn so, so much about selling online, on Amazon, on eBay, on everything. You guys all probably, you know, hopefully know that uh, by joining uh, the right groups. I published something on the PS1. It's a, basically, it's, a, it's a, um, almost like a Rotten Tomatoes, I guess, of, I don't know if you're familiar with that website, but they, they, they review movies. But it's almost like a review of all the Facebook groups having to do with selling on Amazon. Uh, and so, um, you know, we, the reason I'm telling is go, go check out the content. If you're an Amazon seller, you should be in as many Facebook groups as possible. Um, but there was a, so what I'm getting at is we've been on a lot of groups. We have, i I am part of a lot of groups. There's a reason we chose to partner with PS 101 when it came to launching our, our, our service. It's because it's one of the best, one of the best GD groups. Uh, Facebook groups uh, you know, for inventory, for sourcing inventory on, on Facebook. Um, uh, take take my word for it. I look at groups all the time. I mean, I, I'm I know a member of quite a few. And that's uh, how I learn about. I mean, I have Amazon, eBay, everything. That's how I just yeah. read and what other people do. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you learn so much. And I, you know what, 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 what we're. Uh, one of my, you know, people ask, well, what do you have any regrets in your business? Uh, and one of the regrets that we have is that. I didn't know about Facebook groups until about probably about a year and a bit ago into our, you know, so we were like one about a year or two into our business by that time, you know, maybe a year into our, you know, year and a half into our business before I discovered, before we discovered Facebook groups. Oh my goodness. If, if I could have, I mean, if I could have gone back the full three years back to when we started our business and been in Facebook groups from the start, who knows where, I mean, it would have catapulted our business even further because you just learned so much, so much. They are good. I give them that. Yep. So let's talk a little bit uh, about the products. So it sounds like yeah. I mean, they can come from any store and any item I can ask for. Yep. If you can get it online or we can go walk into it, um, you know, uh, with our shoppers, we can grab it for you. So I can, do you want the store when I tell you or just the item number? That's it. I mean, if I said, hey, I saw a deal at Target or I yeah. want to think. 
uh, the, what I would, uh, yeah, what we ask for is the store, the product. We ask for a picture usually or a link. You know, obviously the store sometimes, most of the time we'll have it online, like a, what the product looks like or um, to the store, uh, a picture, a link, a UPC is preferable. Like, you know, we had someone that was sourcing um, a health and beauty product, right? Uh, there are a lot of healthy health and beauty products. I don't know if you've you know been down the aisles lately. I mean, we all have mm -hmm. that look very similar, right? So they, they could be the one that has the oatmeal in it, you know, or the or the unscented one, right? Like there's just, and and they look identical except one's kind of light green and one's dark green, right? So we just want it like if we're going to go source product, we want to know what the EPC and what the exact product is. Uh, we want to know your strike price, like what this is the price I want to buy it at. This is the price I will pay Source Fanatics to purchase it. Like this is this is this is the price I saw it at and the price I need to buy that. I can't go higher than this. The quantity limits in terms of how much product, uh, because obviously, I mean, like I said, the scale of this can get pretty big. Um, if you just want 50, um, you know, we're gonna have to make sure that we limit our buyers to that, right? Yep. Uh, because as I've used that example before, we've had, you know, someone who's thought, oh, we're gonna get, you know, 20, 25, 30, and, you know, we end up getting them far more every step of the way. One of the hallmarks of, I think, what we, well, I know one of the things we try to do and one of the, one of the things that I've heard positive feedback about around source finance is we are regularly in communication with you all throughout this process. This isn't like you just give it to us, it goes into a black hole and suddenly the product arrives on your doorstep or at Amazon, right? There is regular communication. Hey, we found this, we're up, we're up to this amount. How, how comfortable do you feel with this? Um, Hey, we found this product. It's almost exactly the same. It's the same price. Do you want us to source this as well? Often people will say yes. You know, that's another side benefit, right? Is you may have thought, oh, there's only this product at your local store. But actually when we go to the other stores around the country, they're actually selling the same product, but a, but you know, a slightly different variation. Uh, and you can make just as much money off of that product, right? Yeah. Uh, so we're regularly in communication. Uh, the key to this is communication. There's constant, and it's the reason we have, and we're so lucky to have these tools at our disposal, that we have our Facebook group, that we have our Facebook Messenger, that we have uh, Slack. Um, you know, uh, all of our shoppers communicate as well. So we have them on Slack, and they all communicate, they all compete with each other. It's kind of fun to watch, uh, you know, and they uh, they have a lot of fun, um, and, and, and we'll inform other people in other cities, hey, I also found this at, Toys R Us, or hey, I also found this at Target, or hey, you can price match here, you know, and they'll give you the product, this kind of thing, right? Do you source, do you, so do you guys go in the stores and buy stuff, or do you source directly from the, the distributors? Uh, we go into the stores, uh, we source online. We also have a number of connections, good question, to a number of distributors as well. Uh, okay. So we just signed a large deal, and this is through the other revenue stream that we have. Yep. Uh, as a business, we're lucky enough that they're kind of blending together now, right? Um, we have signed uh, agreements with large distributors. Uh, in fact, one of the biggest one of the biggest coups, I guess, or one of the things we're most excited about is we signed an agreement with um, Whole Foods' largest distributor, or one of their largest distributors. So there's going to be a lot of grocery uh, and uh, health and wellness products that we're going to be able to. Um, I didn't have time. I was going to list one of them onto on the, onto the, our group uh, tonight. I just ran out of time, um, but uh, we also, have, so answering your question, we can do all of it in terms of um, going into a store, sourcing online at a store, and then we also have direct relationships with distributors. That you do, you do not have to pay us $100 a month for access to those, those wholesale lots. Those wholesale lots are yours to go and browse on PS101 and on our, and on our, um, our Facebook group. And uh, very soon we're going to be looking to expand out into a bit of a Shopify store. I looked at uh, John from Mac Wholesale's uh, store. It looks beautiful. Uh, I, I don't know if it's based on Shopify or, or whatever he's used, but he's got a. Uh, I really like Blue Lots. I think they. I mean, their their site looks amazing. Bulk. Um, you know, uh, we yeah. just want to extend our any. We want to extend the ways that people can buy wholesale from us. Um, right. So that's in the so. future. Buy and so go to buy it now. Right. You can look on there and see what lots are available and purchase. Yes, you, right now where you can see the lots that you can purchase through us is on our Facebook group or on PS101. Yep. Those are the only ways that you can see right now the mm -hmm. wholesale lots that we have available. 
Uh, we also have arrangements okay. with a number of clothing uh, distributors. That's where you see. I mean, you'll see we've got a lot of sportswear, like a lot of MLB jerseys. We've got a whole, we just had 2,400 NFL jerseys come in uh, to one of our wholesalers. Uh, and so we're going to, we're going to be listing those tonight if we can, if I can get around to it. Um, but tomorrow for sure. Um, and you know, we're continuously growing. Um, we have a number of connections with Amazon sellers themselves. I mean, um, uh, large Amazon sellers like, yeah. like us and they source product from wholesalers all the time. Right. Sometimes they're just looking for a quick, they've sourced at an aggressive, aggressive price. Um, and you know, we're starting to, to, to talk to them about flipping some of their, their product as well, um, to, uh, to our customers. Would you be able you to source product, product wholesale product. From, directly from a manufacturer? So for no. example, I looked at the buying from wholesale, they said, um, you don't have a brick and mortar, you know, we're, we're not going to sell it to you wholesale. I mean, that's just one company, but do you have that ability that since you have that purchasing power to go direct and get wholesale prices for the, for us? It's something we're going to look into for sure. It's not something that we, I mean, again, we, we have relationships with about four or five distributors, wholesalers right now. Close okay. There's a couple in clothing, the, the the large wholesale um, Whole Foods one, uh, and then you know some Amazon sellers that have large inventories that are looking to sell. So that's what we have right now. But arbitrage is a huge part of our business. So if there's a way, answering your question concisely, if there's a way we can figure out to do that for people, we would be happy to do it. Okay. Right now we're not doing. Right now we don't have any avenues to do that. Okay. Um, but if there's a way that we can, we uh, we will certainly look into it. Um, what what would you say your top items are? Maybe top three, not exact items, but if someone calls in, are you more clothes? What's your better sourcing avenues, or is it everything? It's everything. Like I, I'm surprised. Like it, it, that's that's actually you know what one of the more exciting parts of the business is. You know, when we were an Amazon seller, we sold. X, Y, and Z. I mean, we had a pretty diverse product set. Uh, we diversified out of video games. We sold uh, printers, espresso machines, clothing, uh, health and beauty. We sold a whole raft of things, uh, toys, obviously. Um, but uh, it never ceases to amaze me when we have someone come to us now to source for them what they're sourcing. It just always surprises me. Answering your question, I'd say probably the top is toys, especially this time of year. People are looking for toys. Um, uh, clothing is, is a big one yeah. now that we're heavily into because, um, of our connections with, a, with a number of clothing, um, wholesalers, distributors, uh, and I would say probably health and beauty now, uh, certainly sourcing in store, um, you know, health and beauty is definitely one. And then, uh, we have this, this big distributor now that we're a part of. Um, so those are probably the top three toys, clothing, health and beauty. Electronics are really easy. Video games is our heritage. So, I mean, those are also. I like video games and electronics, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, hey, that's, that's what you commented. And, and that's what we encourage, right? Like, I, I, guys, we are not building this company in a vacuum, right? Um, we encourage input from you guys, right? Um, our goal is going to be to partner with you guys out there in, in you know, in, in online selling land uh, and, and figure out, you know, what we can what we can go and source for you right like it's it's um so if you have any input in terms of hey you know have you thought about using your community to do this or what about sourcing this type of product or doing like you just said what about going to you know um wholesalers themselves is you know talking about we have this buying power um you know we'd like to source for um for for people who are you know um, further down the distribution chain um yeah, why not, right? So we want feedback from you guys is what I'm saying. Please. Yeah. No, that's, I mean, back to the Facebook groups, that's where you'll get it. Yeah. Um, and I know that one of the feedback that you gave us was uh, electronics, right, and video games, I think. That yeah. Was, that, yeah, that's one of the ones that you gave us. That's, yeah. Um, what about size? So do you, you service everything from small lots, pallets, truckloads? Uh, I mean, yes. We'd love to, uh, right now it's more small, small pallets, small parcel, right? Like, um, okay. but you know, not, that's not to say we couldn't do a truckload. Okay. Yeah. We're not, I mean, 
we're up for uh, you know for for uh, right. for any size, you know, within reason, right? We have to. Um, yeah. There has to be availability of the product and enough of the product to to, to fill the truck, right? Now, what about after purchase? So, what guarantees do you have on the items? I mean, granted, you've already Very covered. Good question. Yeah, we have a we have a source fanatics guarantee. Uh, we call it the source fanatics guarantee. If you are in any way unhappy, I mean, we go we. That's why communication is so important. We communicate with people throughout the process, right? Uh, you know, is this product acceptable? You know, we take pictures of the product before we send it to you, everything, you know, it, it's very, a lot of communication along the way. But if you receive the product and you are unhappy with it in any way, um, you know, uh, we'll take it back. You know, we'd hate to, uh, our goal would be to work with you to see maybe, hey, like what if we gave you maybe a discount on it or something along those lines if something isn't quite working. We haven't had that happen. Uh, actually, sorry, let me correct that. We had, a, we had um, one of our customers, we were sourcing uh, health and beauty products uh, some of the uh, products got damaged in shipping, uh, mm -hmm. and we took those products back. We gave them the option, though, if if they wanted to take it at a reduced price and sell it on eBay or sell it on a through an alternative channel, um, they're Amazon sellers. Um, but uh, you know, and then we gave them the other option was to take it back. Perfect. That basically covered. I mean, it sounds like you get ahead of any of the issues anyway. So. You're already ahead of you know stuff being damaged. Damage is really going to happen in shipping at that point. But yeah, I know if I'm getting pink headphones versus blue headphones based on our communication. Yeah, exactly. It's 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 certainly about those those the that level of communication, how frequently we communicate, uh, and then it's also about input, right? Like we learned our mistake early here. We we had that damaged product. We're now shipping with um, uh, um, higher grade cardboard boxes and bubble wrap for everything. Right, because it just it's a little bit more expensive uh, on our part, but what does it save any kind of uh, you know headaches for our customers, right? So that's worth it to us to invest a little bit more in in, in better quality packing supplies, um, you know, to to make sure that the the customer is satisfied. Yep. So it looks like uh, we have a question, and I think maybe it's more of the price breakdown. I think. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, for example, if you had if I wanted to buy a pallet load of widgets and the widgets are ten dollars each in the store, what would I be yeah. paying per unit? And then all the other stuff. Okay. So the first thing you would do is if they're ten dollars each and you want to source up to a certain product quantity, let's say a hundred. So my math here, a hundred times ten is a thousand. Uh, you would pay us a thousand dollars upfront into PayPal. That would be your initial inve your initial investment with Source Fanatics. It's just the cost of the product, right? We're we're not a bank. We can't float people cash to to receive the product. So you would get invest or, or pay us a thousand dollars. Once cost. we go out and source, let's say we go out and we source the a hundred uh, ten dollar products, right? They fit on a pallet or you know or in, in, into a X amount of boxes, we ship that to you. When you receive the product and are happy with it, we will have agreed, or we agree up front on a, uh, a product purchase fee percentage on the cost of the product. So if each widget is $10, we would have to look at what is the percentage that is we're gonna be able to fit in, uh, obviously incentivizing our shoppers. We have to incentivize our shoppers, right? Go and get the product. Uh, um, we have to include internal shipping, although that's pretty very that's a low price point for us. Uh, and then obviously, you know, as much as we're altruistic and we want to help sellers, we have to make a little bit of profit here, right? So um, that's all. That's what makes up the product uh, purchase um, uh, fee percentage, and it's a percentage of the product purchase price. So you pay a thousand dollars or $10, we're gonna figure out what the percentage of each one of those $10 is that you pay. Typically, it's between 10 and 15% to give you a round, to give you a number. It could be more depending on how hard it is to source. It could be less depending on if it's in every Walmart and Target. You know, that um, makes sense. That I mean, it's the difficulty of you acquiring the product to do the work. Exactly. And then the only other fee that you'll pay us 
is the hundred dollar if you're if you're using the shoppers and only if you're using our shoppers is a hundred dollars a month no contracts again it's there as a uh, as a way to uh, filter and we're gonna work I mean we may work on this right guys like we may uh, we may make it a, a higher progress. sorry oh, I just said work in progress work in progress we may like I mean it, it you know, we wait. We may um, uh, have the the upfront uh, investment be a little higher, and then the monthly fee be a little lower. We've seen some prep centers that do that very successfully, uh, but most prep centers will charge you. Think of us like I mean, as an extension of a prep center, will charge you some sort of monthly fee for this sort of service, right? Uh, and then a per box fee, and that just think of us as doing the same thing. We're charging you a per product fee, right? A percentage of that purchase price. And then we're charging you a monthly fee for access to the service. That's it. Simple. Thank you. No, I appreciate it. Hopefully that and clears then, up. Shipping, obviously, to wherever you're going is obviously, uh, but that's understood. So, well, someone says, if the retail price is 10, what's my cost? Has to be less than 10 per unit. Am I asking the question in the wrong way? If, if the retail cost, is ten dollars then depending on how hard it is again it depends on how if it's like a, a clearance item that's found in one out of every 10 walmarts we might ask for uh that you pay us 15 dollars for each item because we have to figure out a way to get our our shoppers to go around to each walmart and spend their day going to where, where they might only find a few if it is in every walmart from here across the entire country and easy for our shoppers to make uh, to, you know, for us to incentivize them, we may only ask you for twelve dollars. You know, uh, uh, a unit. It is a negotiable rate, upon depending on how hard it is to source the inventory, uh, yeah. and depending on the quantity of the inventory, the, its availability. It rate usually ranges between ten and fifteen percent of the product. So, answering uh, your viewers' question there, if you're paying ten dollars retail, add an additional ten to fifteen percent on top of it. That's what you're going to pay us. In general, it sounds like a lot of these items, people that come to you are not, are they full retail value or are they mainly, mostly clearance items most of the time? Uh, sometimes they're full, sometimes they are retail, okay. funnily enough, um, because, uh, you know, uh, of certain things that we can do with certain stores, um, but uh, often they're clearance, often they're on sale. Got it. Okay. So it sounds like, Basically, if they're on clearance, you're going to get a deal because you're able to resell them at a higher value. You being me, I'm, I would be able to resell them higher with the clearance. Correct. And if you're able, if I say, "Hey, I want to buy this phone, but the retail's high," you'd be able to see, okay, yeah, I can get that for a lower price for you based on our power. Exactly. Got it. Yes. Okay. Yep. So I think that's where the confusion was. Someone's saying, why am I going to pay retail price to sell it for the same price? Oh, yeah. It's on sale or it's on sale or it's normally on sale or it's uh, at a reduced price or or sometimes it's law supply, you know, supply and demand. Sometimes there's toys, right, that uh, you're going to be able to resell for more uh, for higher, even buying at retail because they're in such high demand or some, there's a shortage of a certain product or, you know, it, supply and demand, right? Yep. Um, so, have you guys shipped to a U.S. Uh, buyer yet? Uh, we have not shipped to a U.S. buyer, but we have shipped millions of of of, of, uh, of dollars worth of inventory to the U.S. to our own Amazon, um, you know, account, and to we have shipped again hundreds of thousands to eBay sellers or to, to sorry to eBay buyers from Canada. So, yep. uh, interesting question. How do you become a shopper? Great question. Um, so uh, we, 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 we kind of like to keep church and state separate, you know, uh, in terms of uh, uh, sellers and, and shoppers, uh, only because of, you know, the the, the, the conflict of interest. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but, Prices uh, and all that. Yeah, our shoppers are word of mouth. We, we I mean, this is, um, you can imagine, right? Like, this is something we're asking people to go out and, and spend, the, you know, spend money on their credit cards. Spend money on their, you know, uh, and spend their time, uh, and 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 they have to, you know, trust in us that everything is going to be uh, paid in a timely manner, 
uh, that everything is going to, you know, that, that there's a process and an onboarding for them to understand exactly how this works. And we have all that in place. Uh, so how you become a shopper is uh, you can talk to us if you'd like. Uh, and, you know, uh, we can, um, uh, you know, we can, we can talk about whether it's, it, it is for you. Um, it's, it's just a simple, you know, email, e email me at dan at sourcefanatics.com or ping me on, on, on uh, Facebook Messenger and we can talk. And uh, for everyone still in the chat, I will post uh, the link to the Facebook group down below so you can get in contact with them, as well as the PS101 group's already in there, link down there, so uh, make sure you check them out. Uh, any Anything of the process that we missed? Products, process, turns? No, no I, I mean, I just want to be emphatically clear that, you know, it, uh, it's, a, it's a unique model, right? So sometimes it's a little bit... Um, uh, of a challenge to to to, uh, to 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 wrap your head around in terms of uh, you know exactly how we can uh, how we can help, uh, but you know just to be clear, we have two areas where we can or three areas where we can help you. We can go into a store and purchase something for you. We can online we can purchase for you at a store, and then we also have relationships with wholesale organizations where we can offer you wholesale pricing on bulk product okay our fees are on the wholesale product there are no fees obviously there's the cost of the inventory uh, to purchase it but you can get that all on our uh, Facebook group um, or obviously on PS 101 for the uh, sourcing in store or sourcing via um, uh, online uh, in store uh, there is um, the process is uh, you give us the product that you want us to source. You give us a picture, a UPC, a description of the product, uh, the quantity that you want us to source, and the buy price that you would want to that you would that you want to buy it on. Typically it's on sale or clearance merchandise or something that you know you're going to be able to sell for more. Right. Um, we will go out, you'll pay us for that product up front. If we're unable to source up to your quantity limit, we will refund you immediately the difference of what we're able to source. And then all we ask uh, is once we've shipped it to you and you're happy with the product is that you pay us the purchase price, uh, the purchase, the product purchase fee that we've agreed upon, anything between 10, 15, but it can range up to 20 and it can go down to three or 4%, right? It just depends on the size, the quantity, the value of the product, the availability of the product. Okay. We ask that you pay that fee and it's all up front, all communicated up front and shipping. And then for access to the actual shoppers themselves, you know, we, uh, we're looking at a hundred dollars a month. Okay. That was a great synopsis. See any other questions we have in the chat before, uh, and if Dan, if you had anything else you wanted to talk about, feel free. I do actually, I have, I mean, I, I was going to talk about this. We, we didn't have as much time to, but I do have some, Source Fanatics merchandise to give away. I don't know if you want to do a, can we do a oh, prize yeah, draw? Can we do a prize draw? Can I ask maybe some, um, uh, I'm kind of caught unaware about what I was, I was going to ask like some Canadian <laughs> trivia perhaps. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll have the first one be a Canadian trivia. Oh, there you uh, go. Um, what is the nickname of the $2 coin? And the first person to answer this on Chris's chat We'll win. This is, uh, by the way, a, a Clip Plus here, uh, JBL Clip Plus speaker. Um, so I'll send this to you. Um, first person that can answer, what's the nickname of the $2 coin in Canada? Man, that's a good one. Everyone's furiously Googling. Uh-oh. Does that count? Did anyone get it? Out. Can you see the chat? I probably could. I'm too afraid to touch. Oh, the, uh, <laughs> uh, the fear that it will go off like it did before. So we got Toonie, Diesel Engine Freak. I got no Toonie. Whoever got Toonie, that's it. Whoever, whoever, whoever is who's, whoever is Toonie. Toonie. Yep, that's Diesel. Oh, Diesel, the the nickname of the person that or the uh, the moniker of the person that Diesel Diesel Engine Freak. All right, Diesel Engine Freak, you got a JBL speaker coming to you, my friend. Nice Do you want him, him to reach out to you on Facebook? Yes, please. If you could connect with me on Facebook. Uh, 
and no imitators of Diesel Freak. What's your name, <laughs> Diesel Freak? Are you able to? Are you actually able to give us your name, please? Someone is not. Is it Looney or Toonie? It's Toonie. Toonie. Okay. People are saying I think yeah. it's Looney, but Looney is the one dollar coin. Oh, $1. someone's saying Diesel's Canadian. Ah, Diesel. <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh, the... Unfair advantage. Unfair advantage. Call them out. Nice. Yeah. There you go. All right, Diesel. Um, if you could give us your real name too, and maybe just ping Chris with your, uh, um, uh, with some sort of identifying. Sorry. His name's Mike. Mike, thanks, Mike. Good, good answer, Miss Canadian Mike. Uh, and then, okay, so I'm going to ask um, uh, a question now. I've got a second here, JBL speaker. What are the three ways that Source Fanatics can help you source inventory? Now, this, I mean, I, whoever can be the first to name all three in the chat window, that might be a bit of a mouthful. Sorry, Chris. Hopefully, they. Uh... They were taking notes. Let's see. All right. I think they're still typing. Diesel said he requested to join. So your Facebook group. Awesome. Fantastic. Thanks, Diesel. Uh, store wholesale online. Perfect. Whoever that is, just one like a JBL speaker. Robert Hayden. Robert, thank you, sir. Thank you for paying attention. Appreciate it. Nice. I like the quiz. I like it. Yeah, there you go. And then the last thing I have uh, here is uh, this is a bit of a is a Bluetooth uh, designer, Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, um, Chris, I'll give you the honors. How about that of asking the final question? I'm going to put you on the spot. Sorry, but um, what were the? You ready? Yep. What were the, the two places in Canada that Dan said they were located? Oh, good one. See, I took my notes. Nice. Thank you. All right, let's see. I'm just going to write down people. And Dan, what I'll do is I'll put, uh, I'll put some notes in the description and uh, basically some of the notes we talked about. Uh, if you want to go back and look at it and make sure I got everything in there. Oh, I don't think. What's the ruling on repeat winners? It's your, it's your, it's your YouTube, my friend. I, uh, I leave it to you, and it was your question. See, Robert Hayden got it again. He said Did Vancouver he? and Calgary. Well, Mr. Hayden, paying attention. I, I'm happy to... Cats Happy meow said Vancouver, Ottawa. Robert says I'll pass that to the next guy. <laughs> oh, so Robert, Robert, you're being very gracious and you're giving it to the to the next person who uh, down the line. All right. So next, uh, that's because he's Canadian. Someone else said, <laughs> uh, "Keeping it real with the Miller." He's passing it on. I love that the Canadians are on here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. representing. Representing. Um, so keeping it real with the Millers is next. Keeping it real with the Millers. Okay. So keeping it real with the Millers, you've got a keyboard coming to you, Robert, you've got a Robert Hayden. Thank you, sir. You've got a JBL speaker coming to you. And then diesel, you've also got a JBL speaker coming to you. So thanks guys. I appreciate, I appreciate you, you awesome. uh, coming on and paying attention. And, um, I hope Chris, what we've been able to present to you here and, and talk about is, has offered some value. Um, again, I don't want to sit here guys and say that we are the perfect service, uh, and we are flawless and have no, um, and don't ever, um, you know, uh, uh, make mistakes. Um, we do, uh, but I think we have a pretty interesting, unique, uh, service in the marketplace that can help you scale your business, help you source more inventory, um, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, help you avoid some of the, uh, the time that, uh, barriers that you have in in running your business and growing your business, uh, letting us source inventory for you. Uh, you know, so uh, we're happy to to help you do that and uh, ha happy to learn with you, right? Happy to um, to take input from you uh, and uh, you know become as perfect a service uh, as we can. 
thanks for coming on, Dan. And if anyone's in the chat, join his Facebook group. If you're not joining PS101, join that group as well. And I want to thank Robin and Renee for hooking us up. Uh, reach out to what Dan at sourcefanatics.com. Dan at sourcefanatics.com. We also have a website, www.sourcefanatics.com. Uh, the best way to start communicating with us, though, is in our Facebook group. Uh, Rob's posted links to it. You've got links to it, I guess, Chris, as well in, in the chat. Uh, if you just search, search Source Fanatics in Facebook, uh, you'll come across a Source Fanatics inventory for eBay, uh, Amazon, uh, Facebook Marketplace, and Shopify, I think is the full name of the group. Awesome. All right. All right. Chris, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate you having us on. Yeah, maybe, and maybe we'll do another one, like you said, if you're interested. Yeah. Just I, I, we have a, 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 a there's a number of, uh, of amazing people that we know um, that I would be happy to uh, have come on and and um, help you uh, in terms of you know, if there's certain tools or certain other aspects of of sourcing inventory or selling on Amazon or whatever. We know a whole raft of people. We'll have to talk off offline. I think we'll probably be able to fill up a few slots on your YouTube. Great. All right. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, guys.